Hey babies, the struggle is real. Today I've been running around the different food pantries gathering up groceries because my caseworker for stamps isn't doing her job. She's behind. And because she's behind, she's punishing the ones of us that have her. I qualify and I'm doing what I got to do to keep what I qualify for. Whether I need it or not, I qualify. Not saying that I don't need it, but I do know how to shop. But it's just the idea of a person trying to put me on front street and trying to make me see how they controlling some stuff. But I got some tricks for her. I done call for some fair hearings and all kinds of stuff. But I wanted to show you what I got from the one I went to tonight. I had put up the other stuff from the other places, so I don't feel like going back through it. And I didn't think to make a video, so now I'm making the video. So I got old-fashioned fruit cobbler mix. And the reason I like this pantry in particular, because I can pick what I want. I got some fruit cocktail. I, I picked all fruits because I have a lot of vegetables from many a times of going to the food pantry. So I picked a lot of soup too. So I got cream of broccoli soup. And I'm not a soup fan, but I'm a soup fan in the aspect that when I'm not feeling good or I'm tired or I'm sick, I got something in the house to quickly heat up. So I got Star Wars Kid Shake Pasta with chicken and chicken broth. This is a different kind of can. I've never seen this before. Then I got some San Giorgi elbow macaroni. I picked up a couple boxes. Because you know in the summer times we do the tuna fish salad y'all. And the different salads and you know I try to have my noodles and stuff. Then I got some organic cheddar cheesy deluxe by Horizon. Then I got another box of mac and cheese and some peach slices. I wish I would noticed before. And great value chicken noodle soup. Soup always comes in handy. And then I had this little bag full of a glass with a spoon and a fork and a couple um, protein bars, a fruit cup, some sticks to add to water. Some gummies, some tea, some pretzels. So I thought that was cute. I also got a, a chili kit. I, pack, I picked up some miniature raisins six packs because those are good to keep in my purse when I'm out and about especially when I'm going to the doctors and need something to snack on I got some sloppy joe mix I got some peach halves another back powdered macaroni I got some very, very Cheerios, so these are good. I've tried these before. I got another protein bar, which those would make good snacks. Sliced peaches, I don't know if I like them, but that'll make a good snack when I'm on the run. Some tuna fish. I like the fact 
fact that they gave me a, a bag for my snacks. Some apples and a pear. Some more fruit cocktail. If you notice, fruit cocktail has changed. They don't have no cherries in them no more. I don't know what's up with that. And I picked up a bag of Polak fish. I've never had Polak before, but it's fish. So I'm quite sure it's good. But the struggle is real, y'all. Although I choose to go out and go to these food pantries to get food. Because my mother told me many years ago when she was living, make sure you had your own. I don't care what you do. I don't care how you do it. Always make sure you had your own. So I'd rather go to these food pantries than to go ask somebody for it. I mean, it might not be what I really, really want, but I'm going to eat and get full. So I, I'm cool with it. I don't like to borrow none because I don't want to pay nobody back. Not saying that I won't pay you back. Because those who look out for me, I look out for them too. Don't get it twisted. But I try not to put myself in a position to borrow anything. Then I ain't got to pay you back. But the struggle is really, really real. I noticed today, out of different places, not only today, I noticed it recently, within this month. Out of all the different places that I myself go to get food. The majority of the people that's on these lines are people that are older than me. And I know the pain that I go through because my body is breaking down. And I'm getting older. But I could just imagine. It is so sad to see my elder on the food line with me. I mean, these people be 60, 70, 80, 90 years old with their walkers out there trying to get some food. And I mean, I get it. We all get it. You do what you got to do so you don't starve. But I know these people got to have family members. I know these people got to have friends that can take out a little bit of time out their life and take them to the grocery store and let them spend their stamps and get some food. And carry the bags back in the house for them. I know they got to have somebody. And if they ain't got somebody, it's so sad. Because one day, if God blesses me, I'll be that age. And I just wonder, am I going to be still being out here on these lines trying to get food? What if I needed a walker or a wheelchair? Do I have to do this too? I mean... I understand we're poor. We're all poor. I mean, it's it used to be rich, middle class, and poor. Now, here in Buffalo, New York at least, it's rich, working poor, and poor. So, whether you're on the welfare or on disability, you're on limited income. But even if you're working, most of these jobs is working poor wages. The rents are high as hell. The landlords don't want to do nothing. I don't care how you paying them. I'm paying cash out of my pocket. Some people got Belmont. Some people got Section 8. If you blessed to have a landlord that appreciates you and appreciates the money that they get from you and appreciates getting paid by Section 8 of Belmont, Please take care of that property. Because, honey, nowadays things is really, really a struggle. When I used to go out and get an apartment, I'd get my security together and get my cash together and say, hey, okay, I look around. Okay, this is what I want. Here you go. I'm going to take this apartment. Nowadays they got these management companies. Management companies ask all these crazy questions like, uh, your bank account numbers. What do you need my bank account numbers for? I am not paying you by check. I am going to pay that dollar and get you a money order. Because 
I don't want you inquiring nothing. I don't know if you're going to try to inquire or do that three times the, the apartment uh, rent and income. I mean, they ask crazy, crazy, crazy questions and want to get your rent, but don't do nothing for these apartments. They might throw up a little something, a little poster board here, a little tile here or there, but they really think they be doing something. Mad because they didn't bought something. That's horrific. And now they want to force you into month-to-month leases. I mean, I've been in the month-to-month lease, but now I have to sign it. Month-to-month lease paperwork and all this crap. But what have you done since then? Nothing. You know, it's just really shameful how the rents are steady going up sky high. These landlords ain't about shit. You taking all your money paying rents and gas and lights and phone and whatever. If you got a house, a motherfucker mad because you getting some money. Man, if you fix your motherfucking apartment, I wouldn't have to do shit. You know, I'm single. I I don't have nobody living with me. So my struggle is really, really real. But I'm always lived the way I'm used to living. I, I made a plan back when I was younger. I said, I'm not going to live up and down. If I got to go on the welfare, I'm down. If I get a job, I'm up a little bit. If I'm not going to keep no job long because you ain't going to like my attitude because I'm not going to kiss your ass for the job. So I'm going to have to go on unemployment and I'm going to be down and I'm going to be up and down and up and down and up and down. I'm going to be honest and real with you. I can make it off of anything. I can make it off of a welfare income, which I'm not on, but I have been a long time ago. I can make it off of disability income, which I'm on now. I can make it off of working these jobs, these working poor jobs. I done work full-time jobs, part-time jobs, on-call jobs, and still have to hustle. I'm going to do what I got to do. And a hustle don't necessarily mean it's illegal. Let's get that straight. A hustle is a hustle. Whatever you got to do. If I got to get out here and collect bottles, that's a hustle. If I got to get out here and babysit, that's a hustle. If I get out here and shovel some snow, that's a hustle. Because I'm not just doing it for one person. I'm doing it on and on and on and on until I get what I need to get out of it. Whether I got to cut some grass, whatever I got to do, whatever, by any means necessary, I'm going to do what I got to do to maintain me how I'm used to maintaining me. Right on across the board. Whether I got thousands or whether I got nothing. I'm not going to live up and down. I'm going to live across the board the same way. Poor or not, I got good fronts. I know how to act like, hmm. But, you know, it is what it is. I'm going to live good either way it go. But it is just so, so, so sad. Seeing so many elderly people starving. I don't know what's going on with you, Buffalo, New York. I don't know why you think this is all right. I get it. You a Republican town. And you want the rich to be rich. And you want the poor to be poor. But I'm going to tell you something. Y'all is cunning. Y'all do all kinds of stuff. I'm crafty. I'm going to survive. So I hope you found this video educational and maybe it gives you something to ponder on in your thoughts so you can get ahead to thumbs up if you like this video, thumbs down if you don't, and why. Please subscribe and ding, hit that notification bell so you'll always know why I'm uploading. I love you so much. I appreciate you. Toodles.